Okay, I, I have a quick video here for you about self-sabotage slash causing yourself all kinds of pain unnecessarily. So, uh, let's talk about it. Hey, my name is Moses Cabandana. I love to give you tools that facilitate your personal development. So if you get value from this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. Life is difficult. And you know this. To some degree, it needs to be difficult for us to, well, build resiliency. Build resiliency? Be resilient. The question that I have here for you is, what are the things that you are actively doing in your own life that are making your life a little bit harder than it needs to be? Because life is going to be full of, well, let's say unintended consequences, whether we look for them or not. Bad things will happen. Bad things happen to good people. Bad things happen to bad people. Good things happen to good people. And good things happen to bad people. So, so misery is unavoidable to some extent. Misery knocks on each one of our doors at some point in our lives. What I'm trying to explore here with you, basically talking to myself, what are the things that I'm actively doing in my own life that cause life to be a bit harder than it needs to be? Although I'm, I'm, I'm pretty blessed, I can't, I, can't, I can't really lie about that, I can't complain about that. Life has been tremendously kind to me all in all. One of the things that I keep doing that it doesn't do me any favors on, on a small scale, but it can it can compound over time. Is failing to express my anger. I actually made a video about that a while back. So if 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 if, if I'm angry at you or at someone or even at myself, I might not even admit that I am angry, and and, that, and that's a red flag. That's a, that's a red flag. Part of it has to do with with me not wanting to to uh, see myself like lose it. I. I don't want to know what I look like when I lose it, so I don't even get, I, I, I overcorrect. I don't even want to acknowledge that, that, that I am angry. I'm working on that. But it doesn't do me any favors because anger compounded over time, you're bound to explode. So not addressing your anger is not the remedy either. It doesn't do me any favors and it certainly doesn't do anybody around me any favors. So that is like a tiny, tiny example of something that I continue to do that does not do me any favors. Speaking of anger, for some, it's resentment. Some people build all kinds of resentment and anger and bitterness towards others, towards themselves without even knowing that. And that can, that's a form of misery because you're, you're, you're carrying around all this weight and, and sure, it might be yours to carry, but until you ask yourself, what, what role are you playing in your own, in your own misery? Man, it's just it's it's it becomes an an uphill an uphill battle. So I guess the whole point for this video is is to leave you with a question: What role are you playing in your own misery? My name is Moses. If you've gotten value from this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the in the next one. Peace.